Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you the other part of those security tags. These, these right here are the ink tags I forgot to show in the first video. Um, basically how an ink tag works is you got two vials of ink in here, usually a dark color and a lighter color, in this case blue and yellow, and I think the same for this, yeah. And uh, they're actually little glass tubes. Well, this tack has got a head just like those other tacks I, I showed. If you really, and then you put the little clutch on, this is the magnetic, magnetic lock. When that's on a piece of clothing or something, if you really start pulling on that, you'll break those glass tubes. Now the ink doesn't spray everywhere, it doesn't explode, it just leaks out. And it, it ruins the value of the clothing if you're a professional thief wanting to resell it, or if you're just wanting to wear it for yourself, because it's going to have blue and yellow stains all over it. And the reason they do the yellow ink too, is because if it's a real dark color, you might not notice the blue, so the yellow will show up. And yes, I have busted one open on an old rag to see what it would do, and it's not... This works the same principle when it's got the, the cone head magnetic lock, which it locks like that. Now, I want to talk about the disposable labels. You've seen them like this on DVD packages and other stuff, and here's a little bit bigger version of the same one. We'll get to how these work, and I got one cut open here. Inside one, if you've ever cut one open, you'll find two strips of metal. Real thin stuff. And another strip of metal in here. Right there. This piece right here is the biasing piece. When this piece is magnetized, the tag is active. When it's demagnetized, it's deactivated. And of course, in the active state, it will set the alarm off. When it's magnetized, it biases these two strips, so they resonate. They actually, they actually vibrate in there. You probably wouldn't be able to see it or feel it, but they will. And that vibration gives off a, a frequency response that the towers, that the alarm system can pick up. When you pay for your items and they run it over that special pad, all that is is like a big degaussing coil. It just demagnetizes this right here. Once that's done, it detunes them, and it won't set the alarm off. This is the, and of course this is the acoustomagnetic system, like what Sensormatic and several others use. The 8.2 megahertz system, the RF system, uses these kind of disposable tags, which is basically a tuned tank circuit. Now it looks like an RFID tag, and in a way it is, but it doesn't contain any info. It's not programmable. It either tells the system if it's there or not. And in the middle here, this square patch is actually a capacitor. There's a layer of film in between the capacitor, or in between the two different plates. And the coil acts as your antenna, and also as, a, as an inductor. So, it's designed to resonate at 8.2 megahertz. When you pay for your item, they actually use uh, equivalent to a small electromagnetic pulse, real localized on that pad, and it shorts out these little points on the capacitor here, and actually fries the circuit so it's no good. Um, you can't reactivate these once they're once they're fried. They're fried. These ones you can actually reactivate. You can take any old magnet. I've got a keychain magnet thing here, and rub it on the tag either side. That'll actually reactivate the tag, which you can have a lot of fun by sticking them on friends and stuff, and as they go in and out of stores. Um, basically, that's all I wanted to show you. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed that, and as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good one.